going on guys red one here and today we're gonna do a unboxing I have right here uh, it's called the chatterbox and uh, this is what I'll be taking off my helmet so as they say out with the old and in with the new and right here guys I got uh, today from my local shop out here in SoCal I have the brand new Senna 20s and this one it's dual pack. Uh, me and my partner, we, um, my riding partner, I should say, my riding homie, <laughs> we uh, decided to go in on one because um, it's a little bit cheaper than buying just a single uh, unit by itself. So if you guys do have friends out there, man, make sure you pick up a dual pack. You save yourself a little bit of money uh, versus, you know, just buying a single unit um, straight up. So, uh, this is my first Senna. Uh, I've never owned a Senna before. I've always used Chatterbox. Uh, Chatterbox is what I know. Um, but looks like uh, Senna is moving in the right direction as far as technology and things of that nature. So I figured I'd go ahead and um, try uh, Senna out. Um, so let's go ahead and crack this baby open and see what we've got inside here. Got a bunch of information on the back, Bluetooth 4.0, blah, 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 intercom group, blah, da, 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 all that cool stuff. All right. Damn bugs flying around. I'm in the garage, by the way. It's a little warm in here. So, let's crack this baby open. Okay, throw that over there to the side. We don't need that. I'm going to put you out of the way. Here we go. All right. And in the box, we got... Uh, Update now. How to update firmware. Thank you for purchasing sales product. We hope you enjoy it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, from what I understand that um, the older uh, or like the first wave uh, 20S's had some issues with firmware or something. So they're kind of telling you right out of the box it looks like to go ahead and update. So I need to go ahead and get this thing up to a computer and get this updated. Um, but this looks like an instruction. We don't need that. Bigger instruction booklet? Yeah, who cares? I'll read that later. All right, let's get to the start of the show. So, oh wow, really? Huh. So it looks like we got a single unit here. I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna set this box off here a little bit. Here's the single unit. Uh, two speakers, nice little chrome trim. We got the main place here. One of the reasons why I decided to go with Senna, um, when I saw that the 20s came with optional uh, like ear earbud port or headphone jack or whatever you want to call it right here on the side so um, if the speakers are crap which most uh, communication speakers are for the most part like they're great at doing voice and all that stuff but sound and music bass response is pretty horrible I heard these are a little bit better than the um, SMH 10s so, uh, you know, I can't really confirm or deny that, but I'll definitely check them out. But the fact that I could throw in a pair of earbuds definitely helps me out. And then I know this button on the bottom is your uh, ambient mode button. Um, I did a bunch of research before I did decide to make that switch to center. I know you can turn this on to hear outside noises. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to do it at speed. And looks like here in the back you have an AUX jack uh, in case you don't have a um, Bluetooth MP3 player. Uh, you can definitely connect to there. Clamp looks similar to the Chatterbox. All right, let's go ahead and move on to something else. So we got two of those units. Once again, guys, this is a dual pack, so I uh, don't think you're going to be getting two, two centers, uh, you know, right out the box. Here's the unit itself. And man, just holding this in my hand, man, it really feels light. Um, man, this thing's pretty cool. I know you got the antenna here. Don't really know how to. Oh, there we go. Yes, the antenna. That's how that works. But this thing's really light. Um, it feels a little bit lighter. Uh, actually, kind of maybe a lot lighter than my um, my Chatterbox X1 Slim. Uh, you got your charger port in the back here. There's a button that does something. Don't really know yet. Figure that out later. All right, so let's see what we got up under here. Okay, uh, we're gonna go with the big one or the small. One? Let's go with the uh, let's go with the big one. All right, now I'm just grab all this and pull this crap out. 
Looks like a box of goodies. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we should have two of everything. Um, it looks like this is another type of microphone. I'm gonna set those. Uh, let me set the way. Set these right there. Got two charging cables, of course. Two. Uh, what are these like? I have no idea what these are. Some kind of Velcro. I have no idea what these are. Well, we got two of these. <laughs> uh, this looks like some mounting hardware, I guess. What is this? Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay. Well, I just figured out what this is. This is um, like the way this connects to the to the uh, helmet. This opens up right here in the middle. And then you slide it in between the shell and the uh, pads or whatever. And then you tighten it down and that holds on to the uh, helmet. And Chatterbox is set up the same way. But this looks like if you're kind of uncomfortable with that uh, aspect of it, you could always just uh, peel off this and use a 3M adhesive to stick it to the helmet. So that way you know for sure it ain't going nowhere. That is pretty awesome, Senna. Uh... I don't know if any others, you know, Sky Rider or whatever have these, but it's pretty awesome, man. I do like this. So, uh, big ups to them on that. Uh, these look like speaker mounts, probably. Yeah, these look like uh, the adhesive that you stick inside your uh, helmet liner um, to stick your speakers. We got, uh, this is two. Oh, these are two audio cables, so I guess, like I said, uh, the AUX port in the back, if you don't have anything Bluetooth, you can just use these, plug it in. Um, so there's two of those. And, oh, here we go. This is definitely the mic that I will be using. This is the, uh, let me open this up here. This looks like the, uh, put this other one over here. This is the uh, wired mic. And if you look, guys, this is really, really thin. Um, Chatterboxes is really fat, and I really didn't like it until I picked up my Variant helmet. Uh, just wearing a regular full-face uh, Icon helmet, like an Armada. Um, it touched my mouth, like, and I hated that. So um, once I switch to the Variant, there is a lot more room in the Variant, but um, I definitely like this mic um, overall. It's, man, it's pretty cool. And uh, we got one more side here to check out. Let's see, nothing else in there. Cool, cool. And let's see what we got over here. Looks to be everything. Throw that out of the way. Um, cigarette lighter? Chargers? Ah! So in case on your bike, if you do have a, uh, a setup for that, you could charge your uh, center on the go. And it looks like also in that side was two uh, wind sock or microphone wind eliminator thingies. There's four in each. Seems like overkill, but thank you anyway, Senna. Seems to work. But um, yeah, guys, this is uh, the 20S. So let me move all this crap out of the way. Bring this back over here. Here's the unit. Very, very beautiful. I like it so far. I'm ready to get this thing installed in my helmet. Once I get it installed in my helmet, I will give you guys a proper review. So, uh, until the next time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these damn things charged. Get that, uh, where is it at? That firmware updated. Uh, don't know what version, but I'm going to get that firmware updated and get this thing in my helmet. Uh, give me some time, and I'll get you guys a uh, full review on the Senna. 20s. So until the next time, guys, ride safe, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.